Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Another haul. Yes, I was in Melbourne with Paperific a week ago and we go to High Point Friday night. It's a bit of my friends and I tradition and we've been doing it for four years. So, unfortunately, Arty, Arty Crafty Alchemy. Yes, Tabitha from Arty Crafty Alchemy put up a haul and I watched it before the Friday night. I think I watched it Thursday night. And there's a new Reject Shop collection out so I had to go look, didn't I? And look what followed me home. So I ended up getting the Briarwood Specialty cardstock. Well, it's not really cardstock. It's more paper. That's a bit of a lie. It's quite thin paper. Um, and I got the little paper pad. So the big one's $12. You get 20 perlite sheets and 20 printed sheets. So you get a perlite sheet and a printed sheet of each design. So the perlized one is sort of just a bit... And I can't flip to the perlized ones. Um, so the perlized one is sort of metallic. And they're the same size as the small one. Um, I love the treat in it, the textures and things. So I'll show you the small paper pad. The small one does have a bit of foiling in it, but the large sheets are the same size, um, size-wise as in design. Sometimes that's not the right sheet. I'll just find that flower. Sometimes when you get paper pads, they are, that's not the right one again. Uh, the wrong, like a different scale in the design. Um, but I was looking at this before, and now I can't find the right pattern. Ah, oh, must be backwards. So it's ideally the same sort of. That is the same one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same sort of scale. Um, so basically, what they've done is they've taken four of these and put them on the bigger sheet, not just blown this up, not just enlarged that. Um, so this one does have a bit of foiling in it. This one has doesn't say has forty sheets. And they're about the same thickness. So you do need to back them on a bit of cardstock. Um, so we've got that one with a bit of foiling on it. We've got this one, which is really cool, which is, I just look like dashy lines. Is that one in the paper pad? Oh yeah, it must be that one. Um, I love the florals in this. I'm not really a florally person, but I do like the florals. This one's got butterflies in it. I'm just wondering if this one's in... Is that that one? No, that's not that one. I didn't notice the butterflies when I was walking, looking through the big paper pad. Maybe I was just seeing things. Is that that one? So, okay. I so, know oh, the butterflies are there. They're just a bit lighter. As in, yeah, okay. I couldn't see that. Then we've got blue and this paper pad's going to fall apart. I hate when they do this. And we've got black stripes. got more florals. Like painty, greeny, dark brown. With little black houses, which I liked. They were really cool. More oh, this paper pad's going to fall apart. More florals. Some almost like basket weave or rope. I think it's basket weave. This one's nice with the flower bud and the fuzzed out flowers in the background. I love this. I would use a few more sheets of that. Um, this one, which is like the pink um, picnic pattern stripes. This one's got foiling on it. Cute little bows. Another floral. Green with leaves on it. It's really hard for me to see what it is. Foxes, which are quite cute. Pale pink. And I think it comes back to the start. It does. Then I also found the die cuts. Now I'll link um, Arty Crafty Alchemy's channel below. Um, if you want to have a look all through the die cuts, but I love the little houses in them and the different words. Can you look? That is what you get in the die cuts. So the die cuts are four dollars, so you get 138 pieces, so they're really good value. Um, I love the girl. I wish that was in the paper pack. Um, the girl is really cool, like backwards with just her hair. Oh, and there's a side view of the girl, so I might play with those. See if I can enlarge those on my photocopier. Then I found something Tabitha didn't have. Hey, Tabitha. <laughs> um, hopefully your local shop gets this as well. So these are all the Briarwood collection. I didn't say that. So I found the sticker sheets. So the sticker sheets, I think, are $4 as well. <coughs> yes, $4 for die cuts, paper pads, stickers, and the big paper pieces were $12. So I like some of the sayings in here. Let's get your dreams let your dreams blossom. The good things of life are better with you. Trust. This is my definition of perfect. 
And then I love all the little ones. Um, they'll be really cute and the little sayings. Exo, love, friend, happy, thanks, beautiful. These are nice words as well. I love this font. This is really cool. It's got like um, floral on the letters and it's got foiling on it. And then we've got some round stickers which are cute as well. So that's what I found in the Briarwood collection. Didn't find any stamps. They haven't had stamps the last the last collection before this or this one. Couldn't find stamps. Don't know whether they're stopping the stamps. Um, I find they're stopping the journaling cards. So I have to see what they do. Be interesting to go on Rosie Studio and see what the stamps would have looked like because the Craft Spot and the Rosie Studio um, are the same company that make the same thing. So this is a Briarwood collection. Let me know if you like it or if you're going to purchase it or if you've seen anything else in the collection. Last collection they had some vellum die cuts so I thought maybe they'd do those as well. I'll check my reject, local reject shop when I next get into town. I don't get into town very often at the moment because I usually spend too much money. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.